welcome back to my channel. Now I was recently asked to do a mini tutorial on how I did a sparkly background. Now I probably should have pulled that page out and showed you the finished picture but it's right at the bottom of my pile and I can't be bothered. But you'll see at the end of this you know what it's going to turn out like. It's just very shimmery, very easy to do and really effective because I don't want something really over the top for this. I did that with the other one I made the mistake of going full on colour everywhere but with this I'm keeping it quite simple and just going in with an easy background. Now I've got the Renaissance colours here, now these are on par my favourite with the KJ Designs by Karen, I like them both just as much and for different reasons but in particular this colour, now this is the chrome, now the magnet has fallen off the back of it, I do need to glue it back on but this is the most beautiful silver gold I have ever ever seen I've not seen it in any any colour um, any other watercolour palettes or handmade watercolour palettes nothing nothing is like that colour I like the Cullen Diamond and the ORB one as well which is that one I think I've mixed a couple of ones up in this palette um, but yeah this is my favourite one that chrome one so I'll be using mostly that and a mixture of the other silvers I think just to keep it quite you know neutral so let's activate these a couple of squirts of water on them we'll just stick with the silvers just to try and keep it you know at all the same tone like I said this is the Renaissance palette now what's this one the crown jewels this one's called as you can see with the dried paint there at the top the swatches they are absolutely beautiful now handmade water watercolours aren't cheap whether you buy them from one brand to another you know they're not cheap somebody's took the time to make these colours put them in pans and you know sell them on Etsy and there's charging on it on Etsy I'm aware of that so that's why the prices are a little bit on the higher side you know like against your Coloro ones them sort of colours or even the the Paul Rubin the, the metallic ones so I'm going to wet my brushes now I don't know if I'm going to use both of these I might just stick with the medium just make sure that they're clean. I've got my cloth that I always use, so let's dampen these off a little bit. That one had a little bit of purple in it. <coughs> Excuse me. So let's see if these have uh, so we're more or less activated there now on that chrome colour. So if the camera kindly listens to me today, if I bring it down, you might be able to see better if I zoom in and do it like that. Yeah, that's better. And I'm working with uh, natural light as well as uh, a little lamp. As you can see, it's absolutely beautiful. Beautiful. I don't use these enough. I really don't. So that is the chrome colour. And I'll just do a little swatch there just to show you. Well, the way that I'm doing it is following the hair line. Look at that. And then bringing the colour out and letting it do its own thing basically dabbing the excess paint that's already on the brush just so we're not wasting any of that beautiful colour add a bit more water and just move it around where you see fit let's add a little bit more I know it's really zoomed in but I just want to show you the the true colour of this it is stunning and she does sell these on their own I did buy this one on, on its own I wish I bought the actual the full size now instead of a half pan. Another one, just pop it in there like that. Now if I bring you out, it's honestly it's it's gorgeous. I've spoken about these paints numerous times, numerous times. So let's go in with the the Cullen Diamond. Cullen Diamond and let's put it here. So let's zoom in again. I'm zooming in so much because I really do want you to see how gorgeous these colours are. Now this is more of a, a glittery one I would say, where the other one is really chrome. So if I just pop the colour down like that, can you see it moving? It's absolutely beautiful, absolutely beautiful. So let's put a little bit more. Add some more water and start pulling this out a little bit. So you're just making these sort of lines. There's no, 
uh, rhyme or reason to it. It's, it is very, very random. So we'll add a bit of the, I think this one's the ORB. I did mix these up in the palette. So now I can't remember. With a bit of the chrome. I can definitely see myself going through this chrome colour. I really can and having to repurchase it again. I just love it that much. There's none of this going over with several layers, you know. Put that colour down and it just sparkles. So let's add a little bit more of that chrome to this bit. The other colours are really beautiful, but I think because this chrome just really like packs a punch, it's making the other ones not look as, as nice, but I promise you they are. Just randomly popping it here, there and everywhere. So let's work at the top, a little bit more water in that chrome shade, let's pull that colour straight across. Now do be aware that this is not watercolour paper, this is just a, I think it's a 180 GSM cardstock, this one that I'm using, it might be a little bit less, it's the one that Colouring Chat with Sammy recommends. I bought it once and then I've never really bought anything else. I'm sure it's that one. So pulling this colour out just, you know, randomly, willy nilly. See my words then. But connecting it to the hairline. And then we'll go ahead and use the splatter effect as well, just on the corners. So I have to move that out of the way. I don't think I'll do this part of the body because I still need to finish her outfit. So I'll mix all the different shades here together. More water. I swear my phone goes off every time I film. Every time I don't fail. And I forgot to get put it on silent. So we'll do a little bit more of that chrome. I just adore it. I just think it's absolutely beautiful. I've just not found another silver like that. A silver slash gold. And I'm, you know what? I've got no reason to find it because that's my perfect one. So I've loaded up my brush now. I'm going to tap it on the back of my finger. Now I'm not covering the face because all this is wet. So I will be a little bit careful. And my table's going to be full of glitter. But what we could do is add a little splash of the pink, a little splash purple and a little splash of the blue and I mean a little bit. So can I just get a little bit of that on the brush? Not too much. Just to add a little bit. And my dog wants to come in. She's going to have to wait. I've nearly finished now. And then she's crying. <laughs> she's scratching at the back door. So with the pink, a little bit more water, just a touch here and there, can you hear her? <sighs> and then a little bit of the purple. And that is enough, but I will come back when that has completely dried and show you the final effect. So that's what she looks like, 100% dried. I will lift it up and move it around the camera, but these are still wet. I just want to show you again how beautiful these are. I mean, if you're after some really nice handmade watercolours, I'll link these in the description. And if you even just want to get one, get the chrome. Liquid chrome, I think it's called, or just chrome. Yeah, I'll put them to one side. They're my treasures then, they're like jewels. <laughs> Now I'm going to have to tidy my desk because I've got glitter everywhere, everywhere. But here is what it looks like. And I just think it adds a little bit of something extra to the page. I don't want too much colour because there's already so much going on with this. And it just adds a little bit of something, you know, that's not the white of the paper. It just takes it away. But really, just honestly, look how beautiful that is. And in the areas that I've really packed it on, it sort of looks like a foil effect. But you are obviously going to use a lot more of the paint by doing it that way. Whereas if you spread it out, you're not going to use as much. 
But anyway, it was just a very, very, very quick, and my phone going off again. Vodafone, thanks. Uh, a very, very quick video, just a very quick tutorial. So simple. I mean, the trick basically is you're following the hairline or whatever is on the illustration. I don't know, let's say it's a dog. You follow the line of the dog. And then you're just making random lines, making it look like that it's going out by itself. If you know what I mean, that's the sort of effect that I go for. And I love it. It's just, it's, it's plain, it's simple. And you know, again, I will say it. It is a piece of paper, it is a colouring book, it's meant for you to have fun. Don't be nervous of it. The amount of comments that I read, not on only my channels, but other people's channels about you being too nervous to try different things, or you don't want to mess this up or that up. Just try it, just try it. I promise you'll do it just fine. But anyway, I will go now, so take care and I will see you in my next video. Bye!